Welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In this episode, I want to pretty quickly, I think this will be a pretty quick episode, go over a range of these tools that are available from PIP with Python for C++ usage. And there's a, a world out there that I recently became aware of, of tools that are Honestly, some of them look pretty handy. Some of them haven't been maintained in a while, and I can't really vouch for many of them, but I think you should be aware of them and give them a check out. So the first one, and these are in literally no particular order at all, these are just a list that I found, is this project called Lizard, and it's a Python project. Pip install Lizard. You should be able to do this on pretty much any platform. And what this does is it generates a cyclomatic complexity analysis of your code. Now, I know a lot of people don't necessarily like that, but I personally find cyclomatic complexity analysis just a little bit of a clue as to where the smells might be in our code. So it's something that you can run, and Lizard is something I have actually run many times, and it is incredibly simple to execute. As you can see here, you can just say, Lizard, my source and you type that in and you execute it and it will do an automatic search of all of the source files in your project and give you a nice neat clean report of what you have where you've got complex code in your source space. And it has many options and you can see here that it gives you a report at the bottom that says these are the things that you should be looking at effectively. And it's not only for C++, but it says it says works with C++ 14. I have not had any problem running it with C++ 17. It might just be skipping the things that I'm that I have in my code, but it's still doing a pretty good job. Java, C Sharp, JavaScript, Objective C, Swift, Python, Ruby. It's, it, it covers most of the things. So that's the first one, Lizard. Now the next one is C Many, and this is interesting if you're using CMake because many of us are in the C++ world, with CMini, we can at least theoretically do this. Now, like I said, I haven't actually used all of these tools, but this is pretty interesting. To be able to give it a set of things that we want to compile, and then a CMake list file. And assuming everything works correctly, it will automatically generate the combination of all of those things. So we gave it here, Clang and GCC, debug and release, and it generated Clang debug, Clang release, GCC debug, GCC release, and built them all. So something to look at if you are doing lots of different individual builds with a project and you want to be able to test it in many different ways. So on the topic of CMake, and this is, uh, this is pretty crazy, but you can actually do pip install CMake. And it works. So if you are on a platform, say an older Ubuntu or something where it is difficult to get the latest version of CMake installed, but you do have the ability to run pip, pip install CMake. There you go. And this is being kept up to date. I have used this December 2nd, 2018. I don't know what all platforms it is uh, able to be executed on from the pip perspective, but in some ways, Making sure you're up to date with CMake on Windows can be much easier than on Linux and Mac OS, so use pip install CMake when you need to. And as long as we're talking about building projects, we can install Ninja also with pip. So we can do pip install Ninja, and as I understand, Ninja is written in Python anyhow, so this should not be terribly surprising. But this also gives us the ability to have a more advanced build system than Make, so we can use the Ninja generator from CMake, the CMake that we just installed with Python, and have a really good set of modern build tools for our C++ available on whatever platform we're using. And then finally, another project that I haven't used, and if you look at this here, it hasn't been updated in quite some time, but it looks interesting. The idea is that we can install this and then say, I want to run my build. And it will automatically trace all of the binaries that are launched and hypothetically monitor how much they are running and then give you a result back here and you can generate an HTML report of that. 
So that brings us to the end of the things that I wanted to mention, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are many other tools in the PIP database for C++ and um, I suggest that you check it out and see what other tools that you can find in here. Maybe share in comments if there's any other easy to install, handy little tools that you're aware of. Maybe Python, maybe Ruby, whatever that help us work with our C++. So thanks for watching this episode of C++ Weekly and be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter maybe.